Oh, we're into the new year and there's plenty of cold out there for everyone. Why is it so cold for Florida? We finally got a break in our El Nino pattern, which has been keeping us very moist and, and very warm. But now we've got an Arctic Express setting up across the eastern part of the country. We've got a break where a whole lot of high pressure areas start to come down from Canada. And that's bringing us our very cold and very dry air mass all the way down into Florida. That's going to continue into the week and into possibly the weekend and next week. Now the coldest air mass of the whole season so far is going to come tonight as high pressure starts to get its closest approach to the state of Florida and bring us our very cold temperatures tonight where temperatures can get into the teens and the lower 20s across a good majority of North Florida and upper 20s even as far south as Lake Okeechobee. Now the extreme part of this is you can start seeing freezing temperatures tonight as far south as Palm Beach County and western Miami-Dade County as well as the Tampa metro area. Now these temperatures combined with the winds will produce some very cold wind chills as well. Wind chills in the teens across North Florida and even down in the 20s and near the freezing mark across Metro Miami-Dade County tonight. So if you're outside, remember to bundle up, of course. Because Wednesday night, we will again see those widespread freezing temperatures all the way down towards the Lake Okeechobee area for Thursday night. And as such, we want to remind everyone about the five P's of cold weather safety. Those five P's are protecting people, protecting plants, protecting pets, protecting pipes, and of course, practicing fire safety. Now, protecting yourself during this long spell of cold winter temperatures is of much importance. To protect yourself, you want to limit exposure to the cold, especially if it's windy outside. Remember to cover your hands, feet, and your head. Dress in layers, and your clothing should be fairly loose-fitting. Now, when you're outside, also remember to drink warm, non-alcoholic beverages and eat high-calorie foods to help keep you warmer. Also, remember to check on the very young children and the elderly. Now, with your plants, to protect them, you want to cover them with towels, sheets, or thin blankets. Uh, styrofoam and cardboard boxes work as well. Now, also remember your animals when dealing with cold weather. You want to bring small animals inside. For larger animals, you want to provide them shelter and any extra blankets that you may have to put with them. Also, remember to also give them extra food and water overnight. Now, pipes can also be susceptible to the cold weather. For outdoor pipes, such as garden hoses, you can wrap them with towels and fabric with duct tape. And inside, you can let your faucets trickle because running water will help keep the pipes from freezing. And of course, whenever using indoor heating sources, just remember to practice fire safety. Never use a grill or a stove as a heating device. And when using space heaters, you want to keep them about two to three feet away from anything that's flammable, including drapes and sofas. And for more cold weather tips and how to protect yourself, as well as latest forecasts for your area, you can always go to floridadisaster.org.